Hello and welcome to the summer at the Siletz River House. This is what you will see when you drive up to our home here on the Siletz River. We have a burn pit here in the yard. We do leave the clover for our honeybee friends. You'll find that we do have a picnic table and benches. So if you have a hankering to eat your meal outside, this is where you can do that. This is the entry area to our home. This is our basement. When you use your key, you'll have the opportunity to use the basement. It has our washer and dryer in it during the summer and spring months. The first thing you might want to do is take in the view. This is our private dock at the river house. The river is a tidal river, so at this moment it's at high tide, so you'll see that the river is flowing quite freely. And we have a chart with the high and low tides there so that you can calculate that. We have a seating area and another fire pit if you'd like to use that as well. You need to walk underneath the stairwell and you will find the lockbox for the key to the home. After you have the key, just come back around and you need to come up the flight of 10 stairs to our little slice of heaven as we refer to it. This is our deck and view. We do have a table here, full-size grill with propane, extra chairs, benches, other comfortable chairs as well. We often come out and enjoy our morning coffee here when we are at the river house. With your key, this door will not be locked, but both of these doors should be locked and we'd ask you to do that when you leave the home. This is what we consider to be the living area. The two roundabout chairs, our sofa sleeper, it's queen size. You'll just pull it out and hopefully you brought your queen size sheets if you're going to be utilizing that. Our stone fireplace, it's wood burning. It really heats up the house, so we would suggest you not use it during the summer months. We do have a collection of DVDs and Blu-rays, and our TV is right here. And of course, we have our DVD player and additional DVDs and Blu-rays. This is our kitchen, air fryer, microwave, Keurig, drip coffee pot for toaster, stove top, refrigerator, freezer, and then our dining area. The dining area has the four chairs. There are two additional chairs in the bedroom area and I'll show you that and we're back to the front door. So let me walk you through to the hallway. Please note that we do have a hallway closet. This is where you will find the instructions for cleaning the river house upon your departure. All of your cleaning supplies will be found here. Your vacuum cleaner, mops, broom, and other supplies that you may need. The instructions then continue on this wall. This is a small hallway to our bunk bed area. These are considered twin, but they're the twin extra long. So no problem with sleeping an adult here in 
these bunk beds. We have this little curtain area so that you can cordon yourself off if you'd rather. You'll also notice that we have a safety gate at the top if you have young children that you would be concerned about. All of the games and cards and other types of puzzles that you might want to use or always consider bringing your own. We do have a few books for small children and other toys here and underneath the bunk bed. Just as a point of notation, also underneath the, the, the uh, bunk bed will be the supplies that you might need, paper towels, toilet paper, and extra rugs if it, one of our rugs becomes soiled for some reason. This is the bathroom. It's a full size bathtub and shower. Very comfortable, as I can attest to. And then your single sink. Our private area for when we come to our river house. And the requisite toilet that you'll need. All of the supplies for cleaning the bathroom are here in this room. So we're gonna walk back out to the bedroom. The bedroom is a queen size bed, lamp. The window overlooks the backyard. The other window overlooks the river. A full chest of drawers for your use and of course a closet area for you to store your own items when you are here. There are the extra chairs that I had mentioned for the dining room. We do have a private area here as well for things that we store for ourselves when we come to the river house. So hopefully this gives you a good overview of the accommodations when you come to stay with us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Celeste's River House at gmail.com is the best way to get a hold of us. Thank you again for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy your stay at the Celeste River House.